We have found the guard duty cards, miss. If you like, I can go and discreetly give them to the guards. Oh, thank you. You've got me out of a lot of trouble, Mr. Holmes. It is potassium nitrate, isn't it? Yes. So, Peter or whatever. Sorry, Mr. Holmes, you can't go into the basement for the moment. For what reason? The door has locked itself automatically. You must enter a new security code. Do it, then. Patterson hasn't put up the guard duty list yet. Without that information, we don't know who's authorised to take note of the new code. So Mackenzie is locked in the high security zone. Yes, but don't worry about him. He's trained for this sort of dysfunction. Why not ask the director to take note of the code and open the door? He isn't allowed to, and I doubt that he would run the risk of going against the orders of the administration centre. Anyway, the bars in the high security section are joined to the alarm system, which is in that room. We only need a sound in to unblock, but you see, we can't do that now. We'll try to find the duty list, Warden James. We have found Chief Warden James's duty list. Good. Thank you, Mr. Rhodes. Let's see. O'Sullivan, it's you who takes over from Mackenzie. Take note of the code, please, and unblock the door. At once, Chief. Ah, Mr. Holmes, could I ask you for a favour? Please do. I think I can say, on behalf of all the staff, that we would be honoured if you would care to write something in our guest book. With pleasure, O'Sullivan. You seem worn out, O'Sullivan. A good night's sleep would do you good. A good night's sleep would do me good. You're right, Mr. Holmes. Is something worrying you? As you know, Westgate Prison will soon be demolished, and I'm spending most of my night studying for my exam to join the police. You understand, I have to think about my future. So sleep isn't a priority at the moment. Scotland Yard is always looking for young, competent and motivated men. Would a letter of recommendation from me allow you to get some sleep? What? A letter from Mr. Sherlock Holmes? Recommending me for Scotland Yard? Are you quite serious? Completely serious, my young friend. May I use this writing paper? The one on your desk? A thousand thanks, Mr. Holmes! A thousand thanks! It is addressed to Inspector Baines, a good friend of mine. There's no need to remind you that it must be opened only by the person to whom it is addressed. Yes, of course. I'll give it to him personally. Thank you again, Mr. Holmes. At your service, Mr. Holmes. See you soon, Mr. Holmes. Gordon Mackenzie, at your service. Well. You have what you wanted, your precious pen. You seem annoyed, Mr. Holmes. I would even go so far as to say terribly worried. Why should you care, Mr. Shieldman? Let's talk about that poison. I am not talking about you in the grip of natural emotions found in ordinary people who are confronted by the inexplicable. But as for Mr. Holmes, you are embarrassed, aren't you? Are you hiding something? That is enough, Shieldman. You have kept your word. Therefore, I will keep mine. At this moment, the 
poison which so interests you isn't finished yet. Its maker is encountering great difficulties in attaining the desired results. What is the end result? Now, Mr. Holmes, the end result of any science, as Descartes once said, to become the master and owner of nature. Here we are talking about human nature, of course, and the creator's problem isn't so much the mixture as the durability of his creation. What do you mean? You see, this poison was made using rare but very volatile short-living compounds, which means that it is only possible to produce small quantities, which most importantly do not keep for a long time. Conceiving such a product in a laboratory especially built for the purpose could be achieved by any good chemist. But recopying this alchemy on another scale and keeping it ready at any moment, observing the particular conservation and storing conditions that a substance of this type requires, well, that would need a genius. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt if the creator of this mixture would be capable. And you would be, of course. Of course. Luckily, you are going to spend the rest of your life in prison. Luck is cyclical. It always comes around again, sooner or later. As far as I am concerned, I have the feeling that the cycle is going to be very short. Holmes, it sounds to me as though this shieldman is implying that an escape attempt will be made. Yes, we must go and warn the director. Warden Mackenzie. Out of the question that your bastard is named Patterson. Very well. You refuse to reveal the father to me? Well then go and join him. I'm not stopping you. I... I can't. Hmm. Director, you will have to postpone this small family reunion. We believe that a serious scheme is afoot. We must act without delay. You're not thinking of... Yes. Shieldman's words leave no room for doubt. It seems that he is planning an escape attempt. We strongly advise you to search his cell. Do you really believe that he's hiding something? Because I must make an official report and have a legitimate reason for doing a search. Director, if this prison is still in operation, it is solely because of its reputation. Think of the consequences of an escape. It would be closed at once. And what post do you imagine would be offered to the person deemed responsible? You're right. No one will escape from Westgate under Patterson. I will order an immediate search of Mr. Shieldman's cell. Chief Warden James reporting. The search of prisoner Hans Shieldman's cell has been carried out. No suspicious items were found. Thank you, Chief James. I feel better now. Without wishing to offend you, Mr. Holmes, I am glad that you were mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, we've nothing more to do here. Shall we go, Holmes? There's just one more thing for me to see, Watson. What's that? Mr. Holmes, sorry to interrupt you, but Miss Jenny wishes to see you alone. She's waiting for you in her office. This, Watson, 
How did you know? Wait for me in the guards' room. I won't be long. What an extraordinary gentleman that Sherlock Holmes is. You must have had lots of adventures with him. Oh, yes. Dozens. Thought he was infallible. But there wasn't anything out of the way in the rat killer's cell. Could he have been mistaken? I must admit... Warden Brighton! In my office immediately! That's an order! The director seems furious. Yes. It must be important for him to order Brighton to leave his post. I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. Ah, help! Ah, ah, ah. You... Did you hear that? Yes, that's not normal. I've never heard Flint shout like that. But why doesn't O'Sullivan sound the alarm? Follow me, Mackenzie. Let's go and have a look. I'll come with you. No, Dr. Watson, you're not allowed in. Wait for me here. Very well. Hey, but... Uh, the grill is blocked, Chief. We've been locked in. And that smoke, it's coming from below. Oh, Sullivan, can you hear us? Sully, are you alive? Answer us, Sully. What's going on? Can I help you? Sound the alarm in the guard room. That should unblock the door. Be quick. Oh, Sullivan might be in danger. It doesn't work. Locked. Hey, what are you waiting for to sound the alarm, Doctor? It's impossible. It's been damaged. I'll run and warn the Director. No, Doctor. Our priority is to save O'Sullivan. Go ahead through the visitor's corridor and see if he answers your call. Very well. Take the keys. They're in our room. Sullivan, can you hear me? Oh, Sullivan, answer me. Yes, I'm here. Quick, get me out of here. The flints have escaped, and they are fighting like dogs. Help! It's... it's a catastrophe. Locked. Quick, Dr. Watson. Sully might be in danger. We must get old Sullivan up from there, Doctor. The door is locked, and I can hear shouting and crying. We're in the middle of some family drama, so there's no chance of them hearing me. Doesn't. Useless! This door is blocked by the timer, but not the one below! Give me the keys! Quickly! I've got the keys, Doctor! Thank you! Follow me, Watson. We must repair the alarm. Finally! There you are, Holmes! Follow me, Watson. We must... I'm going to turn on the system. Watson, you make sure of the contact. I hope that this isn't dangerous.
It works. Perfect. It's open. Let's go down. Be careful. From what your colleague said, the flints are out. We are trained for this sort of situation. And we're armed. Come and help us, Watson. Everything is back to normal. Thank you for your help, gentlemen. It was a pleasure. But where is O'Sullivan? He's no longer here. He must have gone out for the visitors' issue. Yes, and he must be pleased to have gotten out of the basement. Good. We must now check all the cells. It's the procedure in case of an alarm. We'll come and help you. You are evidently fond of wasting time, my dear fellow. Rejoin me at the reception when you've finished. The grate is open. This is alarming. He's fine where he is, under the cover, still. How can he sleep with all this noise? I'll admit it's not normal. Perhaps the smoke has poisoned him. I had better take a look. Be careful, Doctor. He is dangerous. O'Sullivan! It's impossible. He was with us only a few moments ago. Or else... Or else it wasn't O'Sullivan. My God! He's escaped! The Rat Killer has escaped! escaped. I fear that this inquiry is a bitter defeat for us. Not at all, my dear fellow. Quite the contrary. Follow me. Why the devil have you brought me behind the prison? We have an appointment, Watson. What do you think, Holmes? Look who is waiting for us. Shieldman! I'll go back and alert the guards. Calm down. He's harmless. But... but what is he doing here? Why hasn't he run away? Because I asked him not to. Are you telling me that you helped him to escape? Quite so, as he wouldn't have been able to do so alone. But how? And why? He's a dangerous madman. Holmes, you've made me an accomplice in this escape. You owe me some explanation. And you will have them. But my priority for the moment is to remove our new friend to a safe place. I won't be long, but I must go alone. I'll rejoin you later. Just give me your next destination. Very well. I suppose you know what you're doing. How could you doubt it? Here, take the notes. They will help you when you write up the account of our visit to Westgate. So, where do I find you? The next step of our investigation should take place in the Whitechapel area. Good. Go then, and I'll rejoin you there. Here we are in the heart of Whitechapel. Keep an eye on your wallet, Holmes. This area is the highest for pickpockets in all of the kingdom. Don't worry about my wallet, Watson. It would be easier to move Big Ben than to steal from me. Or to borrow a shilling from you. Amusing, Watson. Really very amusing. Can we move on to more serious matters? I'm listening, Holmes. Please excuse us, sir. Uh. 
Here's the public dispensary that we're looking for. Good day. Please excuse us. Oh, Grant, is it you? Yes. But wait a moment. Watson, it's been years. Since the Faculty of Medicine, if my memory serves me right. Yes, we were young and ambitious. <laughs> I didn't expect to find you here. I thought you had gone to America. No. I find that I prefer the filth here, amputating gangrenous legs. Ah. <laughs> I'm joking, Watson. Unfortunately, I was unable to leave for Washington. I had to give up surgery. So instead, I crouched down in this rat hole, rubbing shoulders with the world's misery. Grant, treating those in need is a noble calling. You underestimate the importance of your work. If you say so. It's true that in the beginning I felt as you do, but as time goes by, the more this cursed area seems like hell. You think that nothing can get worse, and the next day you see that it can. Now famine has hit these poor wretches. One can't always do as one might prefer when one is a doctor. Grant, I'd like to introduce you to Sherlock Holmes. Pleased to meet you. Well, no one comes here by chance, therefore I imagine that you need something in particular. How can I help you? Dr. Grant, we are in possession of a scalpel which was found in an unusual location. Does it come from your dispensary, as we believe? From its mark, I'd say it was stolen from us. A lot of things disappear from here, you understand. Life is hard in Whitechapel. When the staff find a way of adding to their salary, they rarely hesitate to do so. Thank you, Doctor. Farewell, Doctor. See you soon, perhaps. And take care of yourself. This stove is hardly working. That would explain the damp around here. Incredible! My colleague could at least keep a good fire going for his patients. Like all the sick lying here, this person is very quiet. Not surprising, Holmes, this person is too weak. She's obviously suffering from malnutrition, and for more than a few weeks now. I'm starving. Help me for pity's sake. Closed. Even here, decidedly the poor people have been abandoned to their fate. 